Alright guys, I have to do this quietly and I have to film in a different setting because my brother is trying to sleep. He has a really terrible cold. But remember when I told you in the last re review that I wouldn't have enough time to do an actual review for you? Well, it turns out in the middle of packing I got a little bit of time left so I'm going to do this review for you. Just to get started before I move into my actual dorm which is this Monday. Well, next Monday to be exact. So I'm going to get this review done and straightforward for you. So I am going to be reviewing this stuff right here. This is the Thayers. Thayers. Let's go with, let's go with Thayers for now. If you know how to pronounce it, tell me in the description. Tell me in the um, comment section. But this is the stuff I want to review. This is the um, Witch Hazel Alcohol Free Toner with Aloe Vera in it. This is the Lavender Formation. They also have... This is available in, I believe, maybe eight formations, but the three that I know are this one, lavender, rose, rose water, the one that has rose water in it, and cucumber. I believe they also have a regular one, but if you want the regular one, you'll have to order through Amazon. But this stuff right here can be found at GNC for... I think it was $8.99 or $7.99. I believe it was $8.99, and if you have a membership card, it would probably be $6.99, something around that. $9.99 to $7.99. Again, I'll put the price in the description. So, sorry for fumbling on that. But this can be found at select GNC stores, and if you can't find them in there, you can also find them probably in other shops like the Vitamin Shop for starters. And if you want, if you're an online shopper, you can also find them on Amazon. So, well, this on Amazon. So I end up picking up this toner because if you remember, if you follow me, you remember my videos. I did a review on the Shea Moisture African Black Soap Problem Skin Toner, and I said on that video that the toner didn't do really good. It didn't do that much for my skin. I mean, it felt good, but I didn't see much of a difference. Well. Because of that, I decided to discontinue using that. And after dinner, I was out to dinner with my family one day, and I just happened to be browsing GNC, and I found this stuff. Now, I did read reviews on Amazon. It was really good, so naturally, I wanted to try this toner out. And plus, it has witch hazel in it, unfiltered witch hazel in it. So, I picked it up, paid for it, and I got started using it. This... This stuff has pretty much organic ingredients in it. It's supposed to moisturize, cleanse, and refresh your skin. skin and, it's and it's supposed to tighten pores. You know, those ugly pores that can show up on your skin after you're done cleansing. And they just look really tacky. This is supposed to close the pores. So, it has the information on the back. So, if you want to, you can, you can find this bottle and read it. It does have aloe vera juice, witch hazel witch hazel extract yeah witch hazel extract lavender water and grapefruit seed extract it has pretty good ingredients in it so I picked this up and on the time that I picked it up which was like late afternoon to where the evening was starting to crawl in I had these three massive bumps on this side of my face here and they hurt so badly like even if I were to wash that face vigorously and exfoliate it, it the bumps just came out of nowhere. They didn't even feel good, and they seriously hurt the side of my face. Well, I didn't want to go through the hassle of washing my face again at night because I was really lazy and I was really, really tired. And you know, when you consume a lot of comfort food, it tends to get you very tired. So instead of me cleansing my face, I decided to moisten a cotton ball and just rub this stuff all over the side of my face and on the rest of my face, you know, to just hurry up and remove whatever stuff was on it. And then I went to bed. Let me tell you something. This stuff is wonderful. This is a wonderful toner. The next day, the next morning after I used this stuff, these three bumps on the side of my face, and this was like a long time ago when I first started using this, these three bumps on the side of my face had shrunken down to where they were almost dried up it was almost like it was a typical breakout that would happen during my time of the month well these three bumps here 
they were almost gone. It was like the witch hazel in this stuff dried it up. And I wouldn't stop there. This stuff works, okay? It works, it keeps my skin refreshed, and it moisturizes it so well that sometimes I even forget to put on my actual facial moisturizer, the Problem Skin Moisturizer from Shea Moisture. At one point, I actually did forget to put on moisturizer twice now. That's how good this stuff is. Now, I don't know if you can see, but it does kind of suds up a bit, and that's fine. That doesn't mean it's going to um, make your skin really tight and dry. This stuff does not make your skin very tight or dry or dried out or anything. It doesn't even break your skin out. It treats it. Now, the one I have is lavender. I can't speak for the rose water and the cucumber one, but many people said that the cucumber one was the most refreshing, and the rose water one was mostly suited for more mature skin, like anti-aging stuff. But hey, what ifs? Me, the lavender one was the one I wanted to try because I like the smell of it. And, well, it's lavender. I actually kind of like lavender. But, all in all, this stuff is really, really good. And if you're looking for which hazel to use as a toner in your skincare regimen, this stuff might be the stuff you might want to go for. Okay? And I will be sticking with this toner for a while now. And I also heard that this line, this brand, has a few other products too, like lozenges, which are these little cough drops that you can put in your mouth in case you have a sore throat and whatnot. I haven't found those yet, so I can't really speak on that. But all in all, this is an excellent toner. I love it. I will be using this from now on until I find a better toner or if this stuff gets discontinued, which I doubt it will anyway. But like I said, if you're looking, if you have oily, blemish prone skin, combination skin and okay somebody's coming back if you have oily combination skin or even blemish prone skin this is the kind of stuff you want to try you all right guys hold on just a moment okay guys sorry about that my one of my parents had just arrived home and they're taking care of the dog and she's taking care of the dogs as i speak but getting back to this product here this product is excellent for oily blemish prone even combination skin even if your skin breaks out occasionally for ladies which i know is the monthly period monthly period and stuff this is the stuff you want to get okay i can't rave about this stuff enough it is really really good it's an excellent toner and plus if you're a fan of witch hazel this is the stuff you want to go for so like i said it's found in GNC, and I believe you can possibly find it in the vitamin shop too. I haven't been to that store before, but I wouldn't. But um, I probably love to check it out too. But you can find it in GNC. I'll put the price in the description. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's probably either $7.99 or $8.99, and it's a bit less, probably like a dollar or two less if you have a gold membership card, which I highly recommend getting if you're a frequent shopper at GNC. But that's my review on this product here. If you've tried it before, or if you know someone who's tried it before, or even if you have questions about this product, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them. And like I said, I have to get back to packing. I have to get back to packing because I need to prepare for moving out of here into my actual dorm. So like I said before in my last video, my videos might get a bit delayed. So I will see you then and stay tuned, tuned, okay? See you soon.